Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Ottawa. Welcome to Ottawa. Uh, today is the morning of day one. So, that's exciting. Um, Caro just had to drive um, Evan to the track. Uh, there's a couple people competing there earlier today, or they've, I think they just started, or just about to start the juniors. Um, ooh. so yeah, we start at, um, one o'clock today. Um, I'm pumped up. Um, yeah, got a lot of work done yesterday night. Um, why we didn't film yesterday, the, like, pre-workout, or pre-deck comp warm-up, um, it was 35 degrees, and it was, like, 45 with the Humidex, so you can probably guess why we didn't film it. We just wanted to get there. Caroline had a workout. I had to do my pre-comp warm-up, um, and then we just wanted to get out of there. It was so hot. Oh, so, so hot. But it's going to be easier to warm up. Um, we'll just try to stay cool today and just go one event at a time, and I think it will go well. Um, so... I am just about to go make some coffee, gonna make some breakfast, um, like I said I think it's like 9 o'clock right now, so gonna leave the house around 11, so let's get started. I will probably see you guys at the track, Caroline will be vlogging everything, so yeah, let's get it started guys. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, so about 4 hours have passed. Since you've seen me last, Caro is back, obviously. We had breakfast. Uh, we looked at the schedule and realized that I don't actually start until two. So it's like quarter after 11 now. Gonna head out to the track. Takes about 30 minutes to get there. And then gonna get my bib, get all the stuff that I need to, and then start warming up around um, one-ish. Yeah, and then yeah, and then it's go time. So, let's get started. Caroline, do you have any words of words? Pardon? Words of words. Words of words. It's gonna be a good day. Perfect conditions to uh, have some fun um, playing some track and field. Well, hello everybody. Um, we're a couple days 
after which has happened. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, on that last jump that you just saw, I uh, pulled my hamstring a bit. Um, I don't know if it was a tweak, a pull. At this point right now, it's just like really tight. Uh, sore to walk around, so. Yep, that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, yeah, this year for track has not been ideal at all. Um, it kind of all started way back when my foot was kind of misdiagnosed and I still went to Commonwealth with a stress fracture in my foot. Um, and then I was compensating, then the Achilles happened, and then just lack of training just kind of led to the hamstring strain at Nationals. Uh, it's just like if you were to ask somebody that wasn't prepared to sprint as fast as they could just to say okay go run 100 meters as fast as you can probably something's gonna pull so that's the exact same for me I my body just wasn't ready for it um, I got tightness after the hundred um, I kind of knew that my hamstring was sore um, and leading going into the hundred it was 40 some odd degrees, sweating a lot, hamstrings already tight. It was kind of bound to happen. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to sit here and mope around and get down on myself, but things happen. We're going to move on. Um, going to go into the off season now um, and just get everything healed. Let the stress fracture fully heal, let the Achilles fully heal, now let the hamstring kind of get back to normal. And then we're gonna try and get my knees figured out because if I'm completely healthy, my knees will still kind of hold me back because they are always sore. They've been sore since grade 10. So um, I am hoping that I can get PRP or stem cell or whatever they can do to help my knees. Um, and if I have to take four months off, then I'm gonna take four months off because like I said already, the next two years are the most important years of my life. So I need to be healthy leading into those two years. Um, so yeah, I have an appointment to see a doctor on Wednesday when I get back. And yeah, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna cheer on Caro leading up to her competition and Next time I see you guys, we'll be- No, don't drink that. Oh. Yeah, I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> the next time I see you, uh, Kara will be competing. So wish her luck down below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, obviously you guys were watching this for a great ending, but life isn't always like that. And yeah, so like it I guess it, if you like it doesn't mean that you like that I got injured but you're supporting me subscribe and comment below wishing Carol good luck and yeah um, bye